What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I am Animagus, and today I want to talk to you about everything you need to know in regards to May Community Day. That is coming up May 16th on this Saturday, and it's going to be another 24-hour period. So from 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. in your local time, Community Day will be live. And I'm really excited about this one because it's going to basically help you guarantee the fragments that you need to round out your exploration categories for your you know your registry as well as some of those challenge foundables that will help you get tons and tons of challenge xp so if that's something that you're interested in make sure you stick around and check out this guide before we jump into the guide i do want to do a housekeeping item last week in the wake of 2.13 dropping and everybody being upset about the registries and so on and so forth like I felt really bad about the information that I had given you guys because I hadn't known you know that it was going to behave that way and so I um, I just want you to know that since then the outpouring of love and of kindness and positivity has like overwhelmed me and just really encouraged me I was feeling pretty low when I saw all of my friends who had lost fragments and I was just like that was just washing over me and I just felt really bad about it and so um, just the comment section and the video and people have DM'd me and people have emailed me and people have sent me you know Twitter and Instagram messages it's just been so nice um, to, to hear from you guys because you're so loving and positive and kind and I honestly just want to applaud you for that so thank you there's not a gaming community that I've ever been a part of that is like this one. It's true, I'm not even, I'm not blowing smoke, I'm being real. Uh, thank you so much just for your kindness and your understanding and um, yeah, I love you guys. So on with the, on with the video and let's, let's get on with this thing. So on with the details for this community day and again that will be Saturday, May 16th from 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. in your local time. There are going to be special assignments that focus on wizarding challenges of increasing difficulty with rewards including spell books, scrolls, high level runestones, and gold. There will be increased ingredients for healing potions that will show up on your map, and those healing potions will be increased from their normal 35% of effectiveness to 50% effectiveness. So they won't do 35% of your max stamina heals, they'll do 50%, which will be fantastic. There isn't any brief brewing time there won't be any boosts to master notes as far as i'm aware that hasn't been changed or anything but we will see more of those uh, healing potion ingredients on the map and the efficiency or effectiveness rather will be boosted which will be great there will be spell energy that will show up on the map and just like this brilliant event that we just wrapped up there will be plus five every single time so it will only be five spell energy dropping every single time you won't have to worry about three or four or whatever it will always be five and another cool feature will be just like sponsored fortresses all of the wizarding challenges will reward spell energy as well as increased family and challenge xp there will be guaranteed runestone reward fragments when you use any runestone in forest chamber three and above which are the challenge exploration foundables so not just things like the books or uh, rita skeeter's quill or the harry and sirius two-way mirror those are challenge foundables i'm talking about the things like the puff skin the Quidditch pitch stand, the Magic is Might statue, um, Sirius's motorbike, like those types of things that you can find only in fortresses. So now that we've talked about the basic details, I want to go over the quest steps, I want to go over the bundles and give you a few tips and tricks for this community day. So hopefully you can maximize your gameplay and maybe even get ready to be done with your registry as far as challenge foundables goes. So step number one in the task, as you can see on my screen right now, is to take the night bus and win one wizarding challenge in Ruins Chamber 2. And once you do that, you'll get a level 2 Magical Games and Sports Runestone. Next step is to do the same thing, but in Ruins Chamber 3. You'll get a level 2 Hogwarts School Runestone. After that, when you do Ruins Chamber 4 on the night bus, you'll get a level 2 Ministry of Magic Runestone. And then completing that whole step, will reward you with five scrolls, 15 spell energy, and two lovage potion ingredients. Now on to step two. Step two will have you taking the night bus to tower chamber one, tower chamber three, and tower chamber five. And when you do that, you'll be getting a level three care of magical creatures runestone, a level three magic zoology runestone, and two sneeze wart respectively. So those match up for each of those tasks. And once you complete that, you'll be getting 15 scrolls, 20 energy, for ginger root potion ingredients. For step number three, it's gonna be a lot of the same, but in more difficult chambers. You'll be going to forest chamber two, forest chamber four, and dark chamber one for a level four oddities runestone, 
a level four dark arts runestone, and two leaping toadstool, again, respectively matching up with those steps. When you complete those three things, you'll be getting three red spell books, 25 spell energy, and one powder dragon claw. Now the fourth and final step is going to be, I guess, the toughest. You're gonna have to go into dark chamber three, dark chamber four, and dark chamber five, when you finish those each, you'll be getting two uh, level five Legends of Hogwarts runestones, two level five Mysterious Artifacts runestones, and two level five Wonders of the Wizarding World runestones. When you have completed that, you have completed the quest for Community Day, and you'll be receiving 100 gold coins, four red spell books, 30 spell energy, and six snowdrops. So those are the tasks. And again, anything above Forest Chamber 3 you'll be getting a guaranteed exploration foundable from your uh, runestone. So that is going to be huge. I mean, like, it's going to help you progress a ton. Like, I'm, I'm going to have to make a list, basically. I might do it as a stream. That might be a fun stream this week. Is to sit down and to make a list of all the exploration foundables that I need and prioritizing them so I can help prestige my pages faster, get to gold quicker, and finish this thing out and, uh, you know, really make some progress. So... That would be a really fun stream to do. I might do that. Now, one piece of advice that I do want to offer you before we move on to the bundles is that you can get currently for placing the books and the exploration, not the exploration, I'm sorry, in the challenge foundable category, when you place the books at, at gold, then you get 1200 challenge XP. As you can see on my screen right here, anytime from then on that I place any of those books, now that I'm on a gold frame and I collect the fragments or I place the fragments or however you want to say, I get 1200 challenge XP, which is huge. I mean, there are five books on that page. If I do all of those on Saturday, that's 6,000 XP. And that's only if I do that one time. So that'll be a few scrolls and a few red books that I'll be able to add to my collection, which I'm really excited about. So make sure you grind smarter. And if you have a lot of those books or you're close to those books, um, it might be worth waiting until Saturday to prestige unless you just really want to grind out a couple of times before then and get more red books because the like I said earlier one of the features of this event more challenge XP more family XP so all of those things are, are really big pluses in my mind now for the community day bundles I want to go over these I um to be honest I don't really buy bundles that often unless it's something that I really look forward to or I really see something that strikes me and these are a little bit interesting. I don't necessarily see something that really blows my hair back. You know, it's the free complimentary gift, of course, is a big plus. But um, you'll see in just a second what I'm talking about. So for the complimentary gift, you'll be getting 75 spell energy, one level five mysterious artifacts runestone, a six snowdrop, and four bitterroot. So that's, again, completely free. Awesome. For the next step up, the SOS bundle will be 25 spell energy, 10 healing potions, and 5 potent stimulo potions for 470 gold. And to be honest, I don't really use healing potions that often. I don't really have to use healing potions that often. Uh, even if my Magizoologist doesn't revive me, we're usually still finishing them plenty of time. So I don't always have to use healing potions. But that might be something that you're interested in, especially because you're going to be playing with strangers and you don't really know what their skill set is going to be. You don't really know how they're going to act or if they're even going to use their jinxes or hexes or their charms. You just don't know. So that might be something that you're interested in at 470 gold, and you can buy up to five of those. Now, finally, the Community Day Bundle will have 75 Spell Energy, five Strong Invigoration uh, Drafts, and five Wit Sharpening Potions. So these are going to go for about 560 gold, and you can buy up to five of those as well. And I'm not too crazy on this one either. I think that it's interesting that they offered Witch Sharpening and Strong Invigoration as they are potions that probably I would desire more than just anything else. Like I, I love Witch Sharpening potions even though it's not really necessary. It's still super helpful just to see how much damage you can do against something and it's pretty fun when you compare that or you couple that with like a Potent Stimulo potion and you've been given proficiency and bravery and everything is like confused and weak and you can do some real damage against some elite foes which is really fun. So um, just think about that. If those are bundles that you feel like you're interested in, then go for it. Why not? Finally, I want to promote a series or a few videos that we have done in the past here on this channel. I can actually you know, link below my Fortress Tips playlist. You can check those out if you want. But the thing, the three that I really want to point out are the profession videos that I did alongside James from Expecto Go and Lynette from Wizard PhD. We did a playing with strangers or how to be a better teammate 
in your specific profession. I did the aura one, James did Magic Zoologist one, and Lynette did the Professor one, and they're really good guides. I watched all three of them, and I got something out of each of them. Even though I am a main horror, uh, I learned why the Magic Zoologist does a certain thing when, and I learned why the Professor may do this thing first, but not this thing first. So I really do recommend those videos. I think they're fantastic guides, and they can definitely help you be a better teammate this community day so make sure you check those out and uh you know subscribe to my friends if you haven't already because they're amazing content creators so that is it for this guide i really appreciate each and every one of you all watching it really does mean a lot to me that people come and watch my videos and interact with me in comment sections and on twitter and on discord you can find links to all of my socials down there below or you can just hit me up at i'm amagus on pretty much all of those social platforms and you can find me Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have an incredible community day. I hope you have a great week and everything has been going really well for you so far. So um, again, join the Discord if you wanna do Fortress groups. We're doing groups all of the time with people and playing and hanging out. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up down below if you haven't already. Hit that red subscribe button and ring those bell notifications so you're made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. I can't wait to see what happens with this game. I can't wait to see for future updates and changes and what, you know, compensation for 2.13. We're, we're just going to see. So I'm really excited for the future of this game, as always. And, um, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace.